see the garage has gotten super packed with uh, building supplies so I'm ready to get some of this stuff in the van but one of the things that's been sitting in the garage for a while is the uh, cabinet here this is the side cabinet the water tank sits in this opening here and then you have got storage here It'll probably put a pro propane tank if we can fit one there and then uh, we're gonna put a drawer right here so that's our next uh, project you get to watch up next is uh we gotta get these guys prepped for paint so that in hopes we get a nice warm day at some point in the next month we can prime them and paint them all in one we gotta do both cabinets inside there all the drawer faces and everything so i gotta get them all sanded and then i've got label which ones get which paint because there's a paint that matches the paneling and there's a paint that's uh, kind of a brighter white that we're going to the cabinets in so we're gonna get going Good afternoon everybody, we're back doing a little more sanding and do have an unseasonably nice day. It's roughly 40 out and a little sunny. So you know that is perfect weather for painting in the Midwest. So what we got today, we're going to finish up our cabinet drawers here. We're just going to wipe them down with some mineral spirits, get them all clean. And then we're going to get this guy all sanded. Um, and if we have time, we'll do the inside too. But I want to get these things done because I can paint these outside. Everything in the bus, I can paint in the bus and heat that up on its own. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, so we got a little bit of primer on here. It's getting uh, real icy out and I'm losing feeling in my hands. So I'm gonna move to the interior of the bus and uh, let this dry until I'm ready to go inside. All right, moving into fun times and interior high school. But um, we're gonna go ahead and start sanding on this guy. Try to get it stripped down a little bit so um, we can at least get it maybe primed tonight and obviously masked and then uh, once that's done, when we get another nice warm day, we'll finish up what's outside plus this guy. So, also, uh, I did hook up the shore power for, for, the, for the first time because I finally got this uh, uh, connection that I've been waiting for to connect our um, 30 amp extension cord to the 50 amp outlet. So, that's pretty sweet. I can pretty much run everything I want, and I'm totally running on uh, like an extension cord. Right now it's just 15 amp power from my house, but you can hook up to a um, shore power or anything like that, uh, a campsite, hook up, whatever, and run everything you got. So, yep, that's where we're at.
Okay, so we're doing pretty good. We got the whole inside primed here behind me. You can see everything. Um, it's super fuming in here, so I'm just gonna wrap up and get out. Uh, otherwise, I will keep on working on it when it gets nicer. See you guys later. All right, everybody, we do have a somewhat sunny day again, so we're gonna try to take advantage of some of the painting that needs to get done. Uh, I'm probably gonna run the compressor out here, and then I'll set up all the stuff, cabinet and whatever, in front of the bus that needs to get painted white, and then I'll run inside back and forth with the uh, white paint. And then once that's done, we'll do the drawer faces that need kind of that uh, darker uh, off-white grayish color that uh, matches the siding. So we'll try to hit all those. At So obviously this stuff's all drying right now. Um, just to clarify what kind of paint we used, we just used home exterior paint. This is like a pure white, gloss white type of color. The other color we're gonna do for these cabinets is the, uh, or these drawers, is the kind of off-white, grayish white color that's used for the rest of the wood and the siding. So that's gonna match. The, the sense of this house paint, you can just thin it out with water uh, when you wanna thin it out for spraying. Otherwise, I recommend pretty much just using it straight out of the can. So um, obviously spraying it does give us a little bit more consistent finish, uh, cleaner finish. It's a little harder to do when it's cold out like this. Uh, you're more likely to get some runs, but otherwise we're going along pretty good. And all we have to finish up is uh, get the gray paint mixed in and go ahead and put that on these uh, drawers staining up here. Okay, so as you can see, we got the cabinets all painted. Uh, that was a big hurdle we were trying to get through so that I can work on uh, anchoring this permanently. This, the half wall behind this, cabinet faces and drawer faces and siding all up through there so that can all get boxed in. And uh, from there we'll be cooking pretty good. Then we'll probably be able to finish these guys out and uh, we'll do the surround for the shower, the siding here, siding there, lots to do. So these were a big thing I had to get done before I could move on to those things. So as you can see, things are going pretty good. Obviously, doors are back on. The walls are up. This piece is up. That piece is up. And I almost have this little tray for the uh, corner here just so we can prevent stuff from dropping down into here when we uh, put a little cabinet face here to open up so that stuff can just get shoved in there, coats, something big. But um, we're gonna take a pause and get back to it in a little bit.
Okay, quick progress review what's got done. Obviously, yeah, this stuff got done yesterday, and today we worked on just getting this uh, piece wrapped up. This one was really tricky because there's not a lot of material behind here to mount to, as well as we wanted to make sure that it matched up with the roof, the wall, and we could put this drawer slot in between these two metal beams here so you could stuff stuff back here. Um, the last thing that I got done today, uh, obviously running out of time tonight, is getting this piece in. This was nice because I did save this piece from the bus originally, so I could just cut it up and uh, trim where necessary to make it fit. So that made that super easy. Got that done in under an hour. Um, and then finally, what's coming up next is obviously finishing out this front section. We're gonna add an access door there as well. Boxing out this piece here and boxing out the pieces in the back. And then we'll do trim around the shower, trim around the windows, and uh, obviously finish out the benches so they look more like benches and less like skeletons. But all in all, it's going pretty good. Want to keep working on it and keep powering through. So Tim and Lizzie can eventually drive out of the driveway. How's it going, everybody? We are back and working some more. Today, what we're going to try to finish up is the facade here and in this facade is going to go drawer faces for each drawer. We got two speakers that were up here originally. We're going to put the rear speaker that was in the way back of the bus, probably right above here somewhere. We're going to find a nice spot where we can put it. And then the other one we're going to put over uh, the door opening here probably. So um, we got to shorten some wires to where they're going to fit more comfortably in there. And then uh, find a way to drill some holes for these speakers to sit comfortably as well. So that's up next. Enjoy. Well, you're gonna need to cut a hole in a very thin panel and your battery Dremel is gonna dry die so you got to get out the fine precision cutting Dremel that has this wonderful assist handle and everything so you're never gonna have to worry about anything going out of control like you would with the little Dremel so we're gonna cut this little four inch hole here with our precision Dremel corded So you can see speaker one and speaker two are up. Up next, we gotta build this face panel here. So we're gonna go outside, I'll put you on time lapse and you can watch that get all cut up. I saved the old one, so I'm hoping it's pretty close. Um, obviously there'll probably be some trimming and fitting and things, but we'll go from there. Okay, so as you can see, things are coming along pretty good here. We've got the front cabinets in up here. So we've got basically big storage stuff up here. So there's, <clears throat> let me get a light for you. So there's room in here just to kind of stuff junk besides the drawers, obviously. <sighs> there's some uh, access to electrical connectors here. Those are for the bus running lights and things like that that we probably don't need access to ever, but they're there and if you can't reach them this way you can always just take the panel off too the panel just has like <clears throat> six bolts or something around the perimeter so we also got our drawers uh, nice big drawers lots of space up here just to keep things that maybe you don't use so often like a uh, maybe a, blend, a blender or maybe you use like big big pans or pots that you just don't have room to store in the kitchen so um, this piece is pretty much all done. It's gonna take some touch up paint and a little bit of uh, 
caulk to fill the gaps and things like that to make it look kind of nice but it's uh certainly come a long way two more chunks this guy and then the guys in the back but all in all we're doing pretty good come a long way and i'm very ready to have the inside of this stuff done so i can finish up the sink the benches so on and so forth but we're going good uh thanks for following along like subscribe and comment that's what you're supposed to say but it's about you.